So let us take second numerical for this y parameters. So find out y parameters for this pi network given to you. Okay. So usually in examination it is decided to ask only t and pi networks, but you prepare all the numericals which you will solve. Okay. Fine. So find out y parameters of this pi network given. So it is of the shape of pi. That's why it is referred as pi uh, network. Okay. So resistance values are given: 5 ohm, 20 ohm, and 15 ohm. And uh, this is port 11 dash, and this is 22 dash. Okay. So find out y parameters for this particular pi network. Now again, you can solve this numerical by n number of methods. Will take only one method. You can solve it by any method. For all these uh, two port network, what is important is which parameter you want to find and that parameters how it is expressed in terms of V1, V2, I1, and I2, which are the variables and which are the um, which are independent variables, which are dependent variables and which are independent variables. So based on that, we will find the uh, different parameters. So that we have already seen uh, as there are four parameters, two of them are dependent, two are independent. So if you will uh, find out combination of these, there are in all six combinations and out of these six combinations, four are included in your syllabus. So they are Z parameters, Y parameters, H parameters or hybrid parameters and ABCD parameters. Inverse H and inverse hybrid, uh, sorry, inverse hybrid and inverse uh, ABCD parameters. They are not included in your syllabus. So only Z, Y, H and ABCD. So um, uh, these you have to remember. Now, in this y parameters you have to express uh, for z parameters you have to express v1 and v2 in terms of i1 and i2 so that means if you will write equation of v1 in terms of i1 and i2 and v2 in terms of i1 and i2 the coefficients of i1 and i2 will represent z11 z12 and z21 and z22 okay if you will express equations of i1 and i2 in terms of v1 and v2 that is i1 in terms of v1 and v2 i2 in terms of v1 and v2 then the coefficients of v1 and v2 they represent y11 y12 y21 and y22 parameters okay so in order to find y parameters we must express I1 and I2 in terms of V1 and V2. So we'll use here nodal analysis method as you will find that uh, for this pi network here uh, V1 is the voltage at port 1, V2 is voltage at port 2, I1 is current at port 1 and I2 is current at port 2. Okay, so V1 is same as that voltage at this point and V2 is same voltage at this point. So you will find that in all there are only two non-reference junctions whose voltages you can assume as V1 and V2 and this is the non-reference uh, junction which is uh, sorry reference junction which uh, whose voltage is 0 volt. Okay, so two non-reference junctions having voltages V1 and V2 and one reference junction whose voltage is zero. Okay, then assume the currents I3, I4, I5, I6, I7, I8, um, all the currents they are moving away from the junctions. So then apply KCL at node one and node two. 
So if you will apply KCL at node one, you will find that it is summation of these currents I three, I four, and I five equal to zero. So KCL at node one will give you I three plus I four plus I five equal to zero. Now your task is to find values of I three, I four, and I five. So I three, you know, it is exactly opposite to that of I one. So it is minus of I one. I four is V one minus zero upon twenty volt. Uh, sorry, twenty ohm. Then this I five, it is V one minus V two upon five ohm. Okay, so substitute the values here and then find out LCM and Express this I one as I one I have taken it on other side and I one equal to V one by twenty plus V one minus V two by five. Either you take LCM or you simplify by any way because we want to find equation of I one in terms of V one and V two. And directly here we are able to find that I one it is coming as point two five V one minus point two V two. So let us say this is equation number one. Now we apply KCL at node two. If you will apply KCL at this particular node two, you will find that it is I six plus I seven plus I eight. I six I six is nothing but V two minus V one by five. Then I seven is nothing but V two minus zero upon fifteen. That is V two by fifteen. And I eight is nothing but minus of I two. Okay, so minus of I two. Equal to zero. So this is the expression. I two I will take on other side, and again I will get the equation of I two in terms of V one and V two. So I two is equal to minus point two V one plus point two six seven V two. So this is equation number two. So from these two equations, one and two, if you will compare uh, with the standard format of uh, y parameter equations, it is expressed. In terms of I one and I two, in terms of V one and V two. So if you are able to express I one and I two in terms of V one and V two, then coefficients of V one and V two will represent the y parameters. So from these two equations, your y one one is point two five more. Y one two it is minus point two uh, more. From this uh, y two one it is minus point two more. And from this, it is y two two. It is equal to point two six seven more. So you will get the parameters, y parameters values from these two equations. So simple is the numericals. Okay. Next, uh, uh, reciprocity and uh, symmetry city of these networks. So if the network is said to be reciprocal. If their y one two is equal to y two one, if values of y one two and y two one they are equal, then it is reciprocal network. If they are not equal, it is not reciprocal. Then if y one one is equal to y two two, then it is a symmetrical network. And if y one one is not equal to y two two, then it is non-symmetrical or asymmetrical network. So you can write from the values of this. Y parameters, you can find whether the network is reciprocal or not, symmetrical or not. So usually in exam, this uh, may be asked to you. So from the values of parameters, again ultimately you have to make a comment on this. Okay. Then uh, I have simulated the same circuit. I have given you this uh, Tinkercad uh, uh, link. Which you can put in your browser, and uh, you will be able to see this circuit which I have already simulated. So, in order to find y parameters, you have to short one port at a time while applying some voltage at the other port, and then record the voltage and currents. And same vice versa, if you will do other two parameters, you will be able to find. So, I have shorted here port two. And apply voltage at port one. Noted values of V one, I one, V two, I two, and then shorted port one. Apply voltage at port two, and then noted V one, I one, V two, I two. And from these readings, 
I can find out the parameters y parameters y11 uh, as uh, y parameters they are nothing but the ratio of i and v so i by v and these coefficients y11 one indicates suffix of numerator and second one represent suffix of denominator okay so i1 by v1 then here it will be y21 is i2 by v1 then y12 that is i1 by v2 then y22 is i2 by v2 so you can find out the ratios after this uh, noting down the readings and you will find that the practically results they are matching with the theoretically calculated one okay then we'll solve bridge t network so this is a bridge t network given to you t network and on that one bridge is there so that's why this is a bridge t network so find y parameters of this bridge t network whose uh, values of resistances are given to you now first what are network given to you there are two ports 11 dash 22 dash so your first step is to assume the voltages and currents at port 1 and 2 so let us say we'll assume that v1 and i1 are the voltages and currents at port 1 whereas v2 and i2 are the voltages and currents at port 2 okay now again n number of methods are there you can solve it by any method uh, i have purposely solved this by two methods which we have not yet covered okay so method one is reducing delta to a star here you can observe that it is a delta this resistance 20 ohm 5 ohm and 10 ohm they are connected in such a fashion that they form a delta so this delta i have converted it into star so this delta into star and star into delta this conversion we have seen in uh, unit number 1 so this conversions uh, you can do this delta uh, it is very simple this value star resistance i have marked it here this is star r1 r2 and r3 if you want to find this uh, um, value of r1 in star then you will have to multiply these two resistances which are exactly uh, covering this uh, um, resistance r1 and then divided by sum of all these delta resistances okay so it is 20 into 10 divided by 20 plus 10 into 5 uh, 10 plus 5 so 20 plus 10 plus 5 this is denominator which is constant one and at numerator it will be 20 into 10 for i1 for r, for r1 for r2 it is 20 into 5 and for r3 it is 10 into 5 so you will get r1 is equal to 20 into 10 upon this sum it is 5.7 ohm r2 is equal to 20 into 5 divided by sum is equal to 2.85 and r3 is equal to 10 into 5 by this sum you will get this value as 1.43 why i have converted this delta into star you will find that here the resulting network will become this so this delta i have replaced it by a star now when i will replace it by a star i will find that this 40 ohm is in series with this so this will become 41.43 so this will become a simple t network having resistances um, this first resistance as 5.7 this second resistance as 2.85 and third resistance as 41.43 ohm now this t network is there you have solved a uh, t network problem you have found out y parameters of a t network so you can find it by uh, z parameters you can find out z parameter from z parameter you can find its y parameter you can apply node analysis find out y parameters you can apply mesh analysis you can find out the y parameters or you can short circuit one port and then uh, find out the equations you will get uh, y parameter two y parameters then again short circuit port 1 and find out 
the parameters y parameters that is in problem 1 we have found out all these four methods and then fifth method is the simulation so now uh, the same t network has appeared now you can solve this by uh, any of the methods which we have already solved for uh, first numerical so here simply i have used the uh, kvl so apply kvl for mesh 2 and mesh 1 so if you will apply kvl to mesh 1 it will result this equation as v1 in terms of i1 and i2 and v2 in terms of i1 and i2 so these are the two equations 1 and 2 if you will find the coefficients of this i1 i2 in equation 1 these are the z parameters z11 and z12 yeah, and the coefficients in second equation they are the z parameters z21 and z22 now these z parameters are known to you you can find y parameters so z parameters are there you can find y parameters from this or you can use any of the method okay first four methods which we have already seen for numerical one now method 2 which is by connecting a voltage source of 1 volt 1 volt voltage source i will connect at one port and shorting the other so i will apply one volt source at input port 1 11 dash and i will short port 22 dash then in uh, so that i will get two parameters then i will reverse the case i will apply uh, voltage of 1 volt at uh, port 2 and then short circuit port 1 and then i will be able to find another two parameters so how so this is case 1 i have shorted this port 2 and i have applied 1 volt at port 1 now this is a mesh uh, analysis i'll uh, use so three meshes are there i'll apply kvl for mesh 1 2 and 3 so if we we'll apply K, uh, kvl to mesh 1 2 and 3 you will get this three equations as 50 i1 plus 40 i3 minus 10 i4 as equation 1 equal to 1 this is equation number 1 second equation as 40 i1 plus 45 i3 plus 5 i4 equal to 0 this is equation number 2 and minus 10 i1 plus 5 i3 plus 35 i4 equal to 0 this is equation number 3 now these three equations are with you they are of i1 i2 and i3 now from these three equations you can find three unknowns that is uh, i1 i3 and i4 these are the three unknowns now what is i1 i1 is same as i1 i3 is nothing but your i2 so i2 and i3 are same and another is i4 so i1 this is i2 and i4 so i1 and i2 we got the values so as values of i1 and i2 you know the voltage source which v1 is of 1 volt so i can find two parameters y11 is equal to i1 by v1 v1 i have assumed it as 1 volt so whatever will be the value of i1 same is the parameter y11 and y21 it is i2 by v1 v1 is 1 volt so whatever may be the value of i2 it is nothing but y21 so the value of this i1 it is 0.119 it is y11 and this is minus 0.112 and same is the value of i2 that is y21 so y21 is this so these values two parameters i have found out now for another two parameters i will short circuit port 1 port 1 and apply one volt signal at port 2 so if you will apply uh, one volt at port this two port uh, port 2 then again mesh analysis using mesh analysis i'll apply kvl for mesh 1 2 and 3 so that i'll get three equations as this 1 2 and 3 these three equations are there all three equations are with uh, three unknowns currents so i'll be able to find this three unknowns from this three equations i have found out these as i5 as this i6 as this and i7 as this 
Now, I5 is nothing but I1. So, I1 is equal to I5. And I6 is nothing but it is minus of I2 because its direction is opposite. So, minus of I2 is nothing but I6. So, I6 is minus point uh, one two seven. So my I two will become plus point one two seven, and I five is minus point one one two. Minus point one one two is same as I one. So minus one one two, uh, minus point one one two. So from this, again voltage source here V two is of one volt. So what are the value of currents I one and I two? They are nothing but your. They represent Y parameter. So from this, I'll get another two Y parameters. So this is also one method. Okay. So you can solve these numericals by any of this method, and all these methods are valid methods. Okay. Then simulated one. In simulation, I have simulated this in Tinkercad. This link I have provided it to you. You can put it in your browser window. So that you will uh, be able to see uh, the circuit which I have already implemented uh, in this. So you can find the uh, same bridge T network, uh, two voltmeter ammeters I have connected, and uh, once I have short circuited port two, applied voltage at uh, port one, and for another time I have short circuited port one and applied voltage at second port. And noted down these readings, and from these readings, I have found out the y parameters. And uh, you will find that all the results, practically and theoretically, they are matching. Okay. Now, if it is a any unknown circuit uh, which is given, uh, which is not a, at all any standard network, it is not a T network, it is not a pi network, it is not a lattice network, it is not a bridge T network, then how to find it out? So let us say this is the network given to you. Find out y parameters of this. Again, there are two junctions, two ports, uh, one one dash and two two dash. First step is you have to assume the voltages and currents at port one and two. Let us assume that uh, the values of currents and voltages are V one and I one at port one and V two and I two at port two. Voltages and Currents, and with this assumption, you can solve it by any of the method. So this I have applied uh, means the latest method, which uh, the last method which we have discussed, the same I have applied here. So apply one volt source at port one and short circuit port two, and find out the values of uh, this um, relations of V one. I1 and I2, and from this you will be able to find the two Y parameters, and then reverse the case. That is, short circuit port one, and find out uh, apply voltage at of one volt at port two, and then find out the relation between V2, I1, and I2, and from this you will be able to find the other parameters. Or you can use node analysis, you can use mesh analysis. You can find Z parameters. You can find Y parameters from Z parameters, or you express the equations of I1 and I2 in terms of V1 and V2, and the coefficients of V1 and V2 will represent the values of Y1, uh, Y1, Y12, Y21, and Y22. So you can find the values of Y parameters from any of this method. So I have shorted this. As you will short this, the six ohm resistance uh, will be of no use, and uh, the circuit will be modified to this again. One volt source, two ohm resistance, four four ohm resistances like this. So now only two currents are there, or two meshes are there. So you can apply uh, KVL to these two meshes, and by observation, you can uh, even write the equations. And from these equations, you can uh, find the values of y11 and i1 by v1 at v2 equal to zero, as we have shorted this, v2 is zero, and 
uh, y21 is i2 by v1 at v2 equal to 0 you will be able to find these values as this and uh, applying one volt source to port 2 i have applied here and i have shorted this so there are again three meshes so apply kvl for these three uh, loops or three meshes and uh, by simply by observation also you can write these equations and from these equations you can find the values of another two y parameters as y12 and y22 and these are these values you can simulate the circuit i have simulated it for you i have simulated uh, given you the simulation link this link you can put in your uh, browser window so that you'll uh, get uh, you'll be able to see this circuit and from these readings of voltmeters and ammeters you'll be able to find these values of y parameters i hope you have understood y parameters so z parameters and y parameters we have finished off now third is the hybrid parameter so again this is the uh, two port network same for uh, port 11 dash port 22 dash these two ports are there we have assumed v1 and i1 are the voltage and currents at port 1 and v2 and i2 are the voltages and currents at port 2 now if you will express v1 in terms of i1 and v2 and i2 in terms of i1 and v2 then means v1 and i2 if you will express in terms of i1 and v2 you will be able to find the h or hybrid parameters as v1 is equal to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 and this is one equation and i2 is equal to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 so coefficient of i1 is nothing but h11 coefficient of v2 is nothing but h12 and so on so forth okay so our aim should be to find v1 uh, express v1 in terms of i1 and v2 and express i2 in terms of i1 and v2 so these are the uh, equations of hybrid parameter in linear form and um, from this you can find that h11 will be whenever this v2 is zero and then it will be ratio of v1 and i1 so h11 it is defined as v1 by i1 at v2 equal to zero when v2 will be zero this term will vanish so it will be simply h11 is equal to ratio of v1 by i1 at v2 equal to zero from this equation you can find h21 as h21 is equal to v2 uh, when v2 is zero this term will vanish so i2 is equal to h21 i1 so h21 will be i2 by i1 at v2 equal to zero so we have found out values of h11 and h21 so for finding h12 and h22 you have to make i1 at zero so if you will make i1 at zero this term will vanish so from equation 1 you will get v1 is equal to h12 v2 so h12 will be ratio of v1 and v2 and as i1 is zero in second equation this term will vanish and your h22 you can find out as ratio of i2 and v2 okay so this is the definition of all hybrid parameters so you can represent this in linear form or in matrix form you can write it as v1 and i2 as this input side matrix and for output side it will be h11 h12 h21 h22 and the another matrix which is a column matrix of i1 and v2 so from this you can find out the same values of h parameters and the equivalent circuit of again uh, hybrid uh, parameters from these equations you can draw the same uh, equivalent circuit which is same as that of your uh, h pa z parameters and y parameters
okay then uh, you can find out the values of these uh, by short circuiting the output uh, as once you want to make v2 at zero for finding hybrid parameters you have to uh, for finding z parameters what we are doing we are uh, for z parameters you have to uh, open circuit the ports if you will open circuit the port then your current value is zero so we want to keep one current at zero value that's why we have open circuited the uh, ports in order to find y parameter we have short circuited the port short circuit the port so that voltage will become zero here we want to make v2 one time v2 at zero and one time you have to make i1 at zero so whenever you want to make v2 at zero that means you have to short circuit port 2 if you will short circuit port 2 your voltage v2 will become zero and if you will open circuit port 1 then your i1 will become zero okay so by output making output port as short circuited output port means your port 2 so when port 2 is short circuited that is v2 is zero you will be able to find h11 and h21 okay these two parameters again the same they are called as input impedance and forward current gain then if you will open circuit the input port or 11 dash is open circuited that is i1 is equal to 0 you will be able to find the another two parameters h12 and h22 as v1 by v2 and i2 by v2 and they are referred as the reverse voltage gain and output admittance this is input admittance this is output admittance this is forward current gain and this is reverse voltage gain okay so all these four parameters you will be able to find okay so i hope uh, time is there so that uh, we'll finish off one numerical at least okay find h parameters of this first numerical is given simple t network is given to you of 2 ohm 3 ohm 6 ohms resistance is given to you and find h parameters of this now again uh, you um, uh, you have to express these equations so you can use uh, again uh, the same n number of methods you have to express voltage v1 in terms of i1 and v2 and express i2 in terms of i1 and v2 if you will be able to express v1 in terms of i1 and i i1 and v2 then the coefficient of i1 is nothing but h11 coefficient of v2 is nothing but h12 and if you will be able to express i2 in terms of i1 and a v2 uh, coefficient of i1 is nothing but your h21 and coefficient of v2 is nothing but your h22 okay so um, again your standard procedure is For one one dash and two two dash two ports, you assume that voltages V one I one and V two I two are the voltages and currents, and then find out the. You can apply KVL, you can apply KCL, use mesh analysis, node analysis, or any method by short circuiting and open circuiting ports. You can find the values. So case one, I have first short circuited port two. and uh, v1 is the voltage at port 1 i1 is current i2 is present and v2 as i have shorted this port 2 v2 has become zero so from this circuit v1 you uh, are sorry i1 current it is nothing but it is v1 divided by this equivalent resistance so how to find this equivalent resistance you can uh, find the uh, you can find the series parallel combinations of this so take current flowing through this part which is divided here so these two resistances are in parallel and in series with this so 6 and 3 are in parallel in series with 2 will be the equivalent resistance so 2 in series with 6 and 3 parallel so find out this equivalent resistance it is coming out as 
so i1 is equal to v1 by 4 so as i1 is equal to v1 by 4 v1 by i1 will be 4 and nothing but h11 then from the circuit again minus of i2 so i2 value you can find out by current division rule this is the total current i1 and this current in uh, 3 ohm uh, branch you can find it by the total current into opposite branch resistance divided by some of these resistances and the current direction is reverse that of i2 so minus of i2 is equal to i1 into 6 upon 6 plus 3 it is uh, giving me the value of i2 as 6 by minus 6 by 9 i1 i1 i will take on this side so i2 by i1 it is minus 6 by 9 which is equal to minus 0.66 and nothing but h21 so i got two h parameters h11 and h21 now case 2 is port 1 is open circuit i'll open circuit port 1 and then i'll find the relations as port 1 is open circuit i1 has become zero and then i2 is present v2 is present and v1 is present now i apply kvl to mesh 2 and mesh 1 so if you will apply kvl to mesh 2 you will get this equation and from this equation you will find the ratio of i2 by v2 and it is nothing but 1 by 9 moh which is nothing but here h22 so h22 is you are able to find from that now apply kvl to mesh 1 uh, which will give you this equation v1 equal to 6 i2 and from this you um, this equation 2 you take the ratio of this 